Hi, this is Fern G. Zadkar, website www.ferngzadkar.com. Welcome to my Facebook Live reading, Music, Dogs and Cats, Part 2, Dogs and Cats. All right, well, if you've just joined in, I am Fern G. Zadkar, and I would like to welcome you to the second segment of my reading, and the second segment is themed dogs and cats. I didn't want to name it cats and dogs because that just, to me, you know, it sounds like it's raining cats and dogs. So I figured I would put it in reverse order from what people usually expect to hear. Well, I absolutely love animals and I've always advocated for them. And in fact, I happen to have served as past president of the local branch of the BC SPCA Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. And I also briefly served on their provincial board, which was my great honor. So with this segment, I want you to represent a range of the animal experience. So I've included poems about animal welfare, but also about loss, which is part of the experience, and joy as well. And this is my tribute to the absolutely beautiful beings who enrich all of our lives on a daily basis. So I'm going to start off with Los Gatos de Puerto Vallarta, which is the cats of Puerto Vallarta. So years ago, Puerto Vallarta had a very serious cat overpopulation problem, but they were able to address the issue with humane spay and neuter programs, and now it's completely under control. But I wrote this poem when I was there, uh, and I was going for lunch uh, at a restaurant with my husband, and prior to, prior to going to the restaurant, there was a little cat following me around, and I didn't have any food to give her, and I, I just felt so bad. So anyway, my husband has a big lunch, and I ordered a nice big shrimp lunch, but I didn't catch a bite. And uh, he just thought maybe I wasn't hungry, but I saved it. And then when I finished, I looked around that market until I found that same little kitty cat, and boy, did she have a feast. So um, she was quite rewarded, and she certainly did not complain. So, Los Gatos de Puerto Vallarta, the cats of Puerto Vallarta. Tourists disembark along gangways and flock towards flea markets, boasting the brilliant blues, reds, yellows, and greens of embroidered cotton clothing. Curtains of trinkets are suspended in vertical garlands from canopies of tents, festooned with papier mache decorations, sombreros, sarapes, and piñatas. Vendors and artisans eager to sell to those eager to buy. Proffer ceramics, leather goods, trays of silver jewelry and replicas of pre-Columbian craft. Souvenirs from Puerto Vallarta, a tourist haven and a haunt for 100,000 abandoned, lost, feral and stray cats. Bony bodies riddled with parasites Forage for sustenance in dumpsters where scrawny kittens are tossed. They hunger for nurture. Restrained by quarantine laws, cruise ship travelers long to abscond with their feline stowaways. Instead, they impotently crouch close to the ground, coaxing and purring. Thin, gatita, thin. Here, kitty, kitty attempting to share their partially eaten senior frogs and shrimp factory meals. A temporary fix for the tabbies, the calicos, the spotted and the brindled, relegated to alleyways and dependent upon the compassion of strangers. Well, I'm hesitant to use the word pet. I don't like using the word pet because I consider our furry uh, companions to be family members. Now, very unfortunately, of course, they have shorter lifespans, so their passing is part of the human experience. And the next couple of poems address this. Alive in Death. Sitting on the carpet, I inhale deeply and reach out to touch a yellow stain. 
My arm goes rigid as my hand sways fingers, an electrical jolt to my brain, triggering anything, any sense that reminds me you are still here. Even though your ashes and empty collar tell me otherwise, tell me you are dead and I can no longer feel you, touch you, or cuddle you. All I can do is selfishly hope your lingering scent will never dissipate, even if it is a slight to your dignity. I am so sorry because I need to know I share a part of you that is tangible, alive, and still with me, even in death. Okay, one more po poem about the grieving process. And this one is called The Ache of Time. I carry the shape of my grief over the dull ache of time, her essence always present. I clutch, grasp for her, the tips of my fingers just out of reach as I try to hold on to a life that is physically no more. As I try to cradle her, to feel her breath on my face, to know she is alive to feel her life, to feel her love. Okay, well, now for something to lighten the mood. Completely doing a turnaround. Cats are such little gymnasts. Not only do they have unlimited energy, but unlimited, unlimited stamina. And this poem is about one of my girls and her favorite toy. And I call it Fischenstein. You are my Fischenstein, a relentless little monster who never tires of playing Mr. Fish. I dangle the rod and Mr. Fish dances on the end of the line. You leap in the air, twisting your body in a double axle, land on your hind legs and swat poor old Mr. Fish, causing him to swing even more. Mr. Fish, Mr. Fish, Mr. Fish, blub, blub, blub. Fischenstein, I've created a monster. Now that you've experienced the thrill of Mr. Fish, you just can't get enough of him. You drag that pink fishing pole with its blue and white striped stuffed cotton tail, uh, sorry, stuffed cotton fish along the house, all around the house, waiting for the next person to make Mr. Fish dance for you. Hour after hour, after hour. Well, obviously, by the couple of little goofs there, you could see how excited that got me. Okay, now picture this an animal shelter at night. Now imagine you are a cat. Escape. Piped in elevator music wafts through a darkened room, barely audible. Full of cages where luminous green orbs reflect the scant light. Even the dogs have refrained from yelping. They whimper in their sleep while their feet twitch as they chase imaginary rabbits. Motionless, but for her tail, swishing back and forth, she continues to stare with a look calculated to project laser beams that zap and vaporize metal bars their dematerialization, liberation, recapturing the essence of all that is feline as she slinks into the obscurity of the night. Well, I'd like to conclude with one of my favorite poems, and it's about my girls. It's called Morning Rapture. The stillness of morning stirs and spills quiet light, displacing last night's gloom. I stretch and purr, basking in the velvety softness of yesterday's sleep, diaphragm rhythmically heaving. The sun streams through windows, blanketing me with its radiance, an energizing rebirth, even for the padded paws scrambling to greet me with sloppy kisses and welcome a new day. The morning is timid and peaceful, an intimate solitude not to be shared with those 
who sleep. Well, I hope you enjoyed the poems I read. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, for more information, please feel free to go to my website at www.ferngzcar.com. I have some sample poem sample videos on there as well. Uh, the Wikipedia article about me is uh, under my name, Fern G. Z. Carr. Uh, I have my YouTube channel. I would really invite you to, to see that. I've got, I think, something like just uh, under a hundred um, videos up there now, I believe. And some have uh, free lesson plans for teachers and uh, parents homeschooling their children. children. I have articles about poetry live poetry performances. I have some of my videos that I've done in other languages, uh, some Spanish, French, Italian, Mandarin poetry, uh, Mandarin poetry reading, all kinds of goodies. And subscription is free, very much appreciated. You just have to click the red subscribe button. And my book, The Shards of Crystal, is available on Amazon. Acknowledgements. All poems contained herein copyright Fern G. Z. Carr. Part two is an excerpt from the original full video, which was kindly sponsored by the League of Canadian Poets and the Canada Council for the Arts. Thanks very much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like, and please be sure to subscribe. For more poetry, my book Shards of Crystal is available on Amazon. Thanks again, and stay tuned for a new video every Wednesday.